I can feel it in the air, I can hear the fire burning I wish that you were mine, but I know I don't deserve it And I'll be okay if I make it till the morning And I wanna scream it out, that I'm sorry but I'm not No, this feeling is wrong, but I don't care Now we're standing Hey guys, so today is Playboy um, Sex Kitten style makeup. I'm going to actually go through and do a run through of my foundation routine just vocally and just tell you how I did it. And then we're going to step right into the makeup. So keep watching. Alright, so just a quick um, cap of the foundation that is on for today's look. It's my hard candy, my favorite foundation that you guys always see. Um, I swear by this. If you guys have to buy any product, it would be this. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's called, or it says just have it. But just face it. <laughs> and it's a one step foundation. It looks like this. You can can't miss it, it's in um, Walmart. And what I did was I went over it with my Dream Matte Foundation. I did a video on this, so go watch it in the video bar. Um, it's kind of like a quick review, but um, I put this on my face, and depending, like seasonally, um, if my tan is outrageous, I will have to go buy a new powder, but right now I'm still kind of light from hibernating indoors, so this is my my uh, color in 2.5 beige. And then um, I guess what I'm going to go ahead and show you is how I did my eyebrows, because a lot of people are asking me how I got my eyebrows so arched, so I'm going to do it for this tutorial. And basically, my secret weapon is this Rimmel London in Hazel. It's called... Um, Hazel Nouvette and it's number two and this is just the shade I wear. You guys can go match yourselves. Um, and basically what I did was from here to here was all powder and I basically did that whole technique of um, measuring my eye. All this is powder from here, okay? And then from here down I penciled in with my Rimmel London pen. Rimmel London pencil. So it looks like this and then it comes with the brush and then all I did was brush it, um, brush it in to the color. Now it stands in the long got me out here and I'm up so high that I can't come down. Heart it beats so hard, yeah, it beats so loud and I'm crying. Okay, so I wanted to talk quickly about this. This is in the other video that is in the uploaded bar as well. Um, the coverall wet and wild um, concealer is probably one of the best concealers out there alongside Almay. I love Almay's concealer. That is the one I used to use prior to my under eyebrow and then um, concealing my under eye. But this stuff is like a godsend. This is like these two. If you don't have these two, I don't know what to do. They really help and they're they're gorgeous. This has never made me break out once and it gives full coverage. This lasts me the whole day. Um, and I really love it. I like swear by these two products and I will probably do a review and then another tutorial you guys will see these often um, But I really do swear by those two um, So a trick that I do for my plump lips if you're still with me <laughs> is um, I go ahead and use the concealer and these are just like little tiny um, magic tricks that I like to share, especially for this Playboy look. Um, their lips are known to be full and, and very um, pla plasticky looking, very Barbie looking. So, um, and not that I'm saying that, you know, all day you should look like that, but I am um, showing you my technique for how I do that. Um, and also under the eyebrow, what I'll do is I'll tap a little color and with my finger, it's the best blending tool. It gets so precise, so super precise. And then I'll take a little bit of my MAC, my MAC powder, and I'll just press it in. And it gives like this nice precision line. I love it. Now, as for the lips, I do the same thing. I dip the color back into the concealer, and I'll dot here, here, and all of the bottom lip, everything. I know that looks funny right now, but you'll see the method to, my method to my madness. I take my NARS in a color called Giza, and Giza is different from Orgasm. I think they're, it's a, a bit darker on my skin tone. Um, but I go over it, and I make sure I have a lot of product. And to avoid that cakey look, I spread it uh, kind of harshly on my lips. 
and I make sure that I do the top lip as well. Make sure that you really press it in there because it will look uh, quite cakey and uh, I don't like that very much. And uh, I love how soft and plump your lips look. They're really, really excellent for that. So um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you my Kat Von D liner that I used and then I'll be right back and we'll be done with the tutorial. On the eyes is Kat Von D's uh, Sephora brand eyeliner and it is called Black Middle Love. And there is a bit of a shimmer in this liner. Now there's a pro and a con. When I bought this uh, eyeliner, I thought, how cool, you know, um, I saw a lot of reviews on it. It's long lasting, it's long wear, it's all day hold, um, you know, uh, it, it's basically one of those um, makeup items that you can throw in your purse and will kind of just adhere to the whole day and kind of stick to you. But then when I started wearing it, I noticed that there were flecks of glitter in it and I was kind of like, I don't know, turned off by the product in that way. I love Kat Von D's makeup, don't get me wrong. I love all the palettes and the eyeshadows, all that stuff. Um, I even have her perfumes, but there's something about this that I kind of like regretted after a while. I should have gone with a more matte toned eyeliner, um, nothing with sparkle. So um, anyways, today I used it on my eyes and um, I added false lashes. And that completes the look for the Playboy uh, Sexy Kitten look. Um, this can also be substituted as like a Victoria's Secret pin up or a Victoria's Secret look. Um, but thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next videos. Or you can just wait until the video bar loads and there are new uploads there as well. Have a good day. Out here, and I'm up so high that I can't come down. Heart it beats so hard, yeah, it beats so loud.